Today, we are searching for an old abandoned semi truck to upgrade into the craziest heavy haul truck that you have ever seen. But before we can do that, we need to find several key parts to make this build complete. The first thing we have to figure out is what truck is going to haul this oversized load. This is a wind turbine. This load currently has two of them in this cage and we need to deliver six, which means we're going to need to take three trips to get all of them delivered in time. Now it's currently Thursday. We got to get them delivered by Saturday. We're just waiting on the permits to get processed by the government. And as soon as we have that, we can go deliver them. Now here's the catch guys. I was thinking about what truck we should use we do have lots of trucks here that are capable of hauling this load but I was on TikTok and I heard this story about an abandoned truck. Apparently it's been sitting for 30 years in the same spot. No tow company has been able to recover it. And it's a 1980s truck guys. So this is a super old truck and it's been sitting here forever. And I was like, you know what? What if we can find it? rebuild it and turn it into a heavy hauler that is capable of hauling that load i figured that would be amazing so we have a lot of trucks here as you guys can see we already turned this into a heavy hauler we got the kenworth and we got the uh oh both of those are kenworths actually but i'm trying to think about what truck should i use to head to the location now the location is on great ocean highway it's nowhere too crazy and i could pretty much take any one of these trucks but i'm thinking i'm gonna give you guys a look at my brand new Peterbilt. You guys have not even seen this yet. This is a day cab and this thing looks amazing. Take a look at that Peterbilt. Oh, what happened here? Did we get a scratch? Who the heck scratched the truck? Oh no, we got to get that buffed out. But yeah, this truck is beautiful, guys. We're going to go ahead and get it started. Yeah, look at that. Very nice. We even got the green lights in the front. And you know why we have green lights in the front? I'm going to show you guys. Because this is going to be hauling our over... No, I'm sorry. This is going to be hauling our off-road wrecker, which we have set up back there. So let's get this set up to a trailer. And I also have a new trailer to show you guys as well. This is the Trail King trailer. And we're going to get connected to that. Normally, in these situations, we'll go with the low boy, but I was like, you know what? I'm feeling like I want to use some new equipment. I want to show you guys some new stuff that I have. So I was like, you know what? Let me pull out. The <laughs> Yo, is the bumper really flip flopping? Oh my God. All right, guys. I'm going to have to get the bumper fixed. Give me like two seconds. Hopefully, it's just like a bolt or something loose. There we go. Looks like we got it and it is as good as new. So now we're going to head inside the shop and we're going to grab the off-road wrecker and we're going to use that to get to the location of where this old cab over truck is at. And yeah, it's a pretty crazy story, man. I'm wondering if it's true. I was doing some research on Google and it, it appears to be true. It seems like this thing really been stuck for a long time. and. It basically went off a cliff and normally we'll be able to use like a heavy wrecker like one of those or even our rotator which is at the other shop but apparently in the location it fell it's like no rotator was able to get it so we're gonna need this off-road wrecker to kind of pull it out from where it is stuck at now let's get loaded onto this trailer cool thing about this one is we can just drive up on it we don't have to disconnect it like we do with the low boy the only bad thing though is it's a little short so i'm hoping the semi truck and this wrecker can both fit on here if not we're gonna have a problem but hopefully it would fit without a problem so we went ahead and attached the wrecker to the trailer with four chains and we are now ready to go but before we do that we do have to put up the back of the trailer the trailer is now up and into position which means we can head out towards great ocean highway and once we get there, we'll get everything unloaded and then we'll search for this cab over. Hopefully it's not too hard to find. And apparently, according to like the videos on TikToks and stuff, it's in a very like bad place. Like it's, it's wrapped around a tree or something like that. I don't know. But once we get there, we'll check it out. And I am super excited. I just realized we are going the wrong way. GPS, come on. Now we gotta make this super hard turn. Can we cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it before this truck comes? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my bad, my bad. Let me show you guys the inside of this Peterbilt. 
beautiful truck peterbilt excuse me this thing is nice i really like the sh the uh, sun visor on the front that view looks amazing and then we also have those green lights that kind of matches the record that we're pulling I, I really like this setup let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comment section but in the meantime let's just cruise down and head to the location so we made it to the bottom of the cliff and apparently the truck is somewhere up in this mountain area now i'm gonna take you guys to the top of the cliff so that we could kind of look down and see where it's at and that would also show if it's possible for us to use a regular wrecker like a rotator or a heavy wrecker or if we really truly have to go in with the off-road wrecker so let's climb to the top of this mountain and see what's going on that guy's cut in the corners very tight he went off-road a little bit there making our way up to the top we now have to just find a place that is safe to pull over here looks good but I believe it's gonna be further up I think it was like where this guardrail was and what's crazy is back in the day like guardrails weren't even a thing in certain locations so wait what's that oh whoa guys so I forgot to mention there is a tanker involved too that thing is like just stuck across the whole valley or canyon there that's gonna be another challenge that we have to overcome now i'm not going to recover the tanker that's going to take a lot of resources and money and right now i'm not trying to do that i'm just trying to build a cool truck so let's park this right here for now oh whoa whoa, whoa. let's not go down there we don't want to get this thing stuck so now we're going to get this disconnected Got everything disconnected trailer is lowered and we are now ready to start the adventure so I'm just gonna straight up go down and see what we can do here apparently what happened with that truck too it was coming down this hill and I believe they like lost their brakes or something and they just kind of couldn't stop and went over the side there was like a railing back there but it, it wasn't as strong as what we have now and you guys can see how like sharp this turn is which is crazy but look at the tanker though wow now for being here for like 30 years this thing is in pretty good condition i mean i mean like it's burnt up from the fire and stuff but it's still there which is crazy now normally i wouldn't try to go under something like this but i mean it's been sitting here for like 30 years so the chances of it dropping right now are very low so let's take our chances now I'm also noticing that the truck is nowhere to be found. It can't be on that side, so it must be down here somewhere. They kind of went over, must have went over fast to have landed in this position. And then the truck would have had to land over there somewhere, or maybe the truck kind of fell down and continued rolling, which is kind of like what we're doing here. So let me continue going down see if we can find this truck and as you guys can see too i forgot to show you but like there's nowhere for a rotator to even set up up there too like they can't boom out far enough to reach wherever the truck is so this is definitely a job for an off-roader this area is pretty intense here how far did it go down i don't see it tanker is there it couldn't have went up it had to have fall here somewhere and it shouldn't be to the right so my guess is that it's gonna have to be straight so let's continue wait a minute yo i could barely make it out guys y'all see it there's a truck in there i see the fifth wheel barely poking out but there it is wow look at this guys this truck has been sitting here for 30 years in this exact spot now tragically the driver did not survive man unfortunately as you guys can see this thing came from all the way up there and it has a lot of damage it even got tree branches through the windshield man look at it right through the passenger luckily doesn't look like any went through the driver's side but unfortunately it doesn't even matter just falling down here took him out but 
Man, this thing looks crazy, guys. It's so damaged, but if we can get this out of here, which is a big if, and if we can fix this before Saturday, I think this would make an amazing heavy haul truck. You don't see cabovers like that much in America anymore. Um, there are some still on the road, but not as common as they used to be. Now, I'm trying to figure out what this is. Is this an older Peterbilt? Is this a Kenworth? I'm not sure yet. If you guys know, let me know, but we're going to figure it out. So let me get my truck into position. I can't pull it forward, so I'm guessing I'm going to have to pull it backwards and just try to back it up out of here somehow and then i'm gonna try to put it on the bed because i notice it doesn't have any wheels and trying to drag it without or tires i should say trying to drag it without tires it's gonna be a lot of resistance so let's get the truck into position and let's see what we can do here we're gonna back up and attach our winch to it we are now attached i'm gonna try to pull it straight out Okay, it's moving. Come on, come on. We got it. Whoa, look how twisted the frame is, guys. This is going to require a lot of work. I don't know. We're probably going to have to change the frame out. We're probably going to have to change out a lot of stuff, honestly. But let me get it up here. Now we're going to release it. And I'm going to try to hook it from the front. Now we got to figure out how we're going to get out of here. We have two options. We could go the way we came possibly go that way or we could continue down the hill which is probably the safest option but you guys know i'm up for a challenge so it's because i'm up for a challenge i think i'm gonna try to go up i don't know though i don't want to get too confident and like cause an accident so i don't know but for now let me try to get this thing into the bed i don't know if it's gonna fit though do we have enough space in here Oh, maybe. It, it appears to be wide enough. Let me see what I can do. I'm going to put the bed down, pull it up, and see what happens. Two quick updates. Number one, the truck somehow fits in the back of the bed. I cannot believe it. Update number two, we came all the way down here in economy mode, guys. Can you believe that? I did not even realize I had this thing in the fuel saver mode, so I went ahead and switched it to off-road. And that sounds so much better. That's what we're going to need to get out of here. Oh my god, I hate fuel economy mode. I cannot believe I made that mistake. So, like I was saying, I can go down and then drive back up the mountain. But I want a challenge. So we're going to try to drive back up the mountain the same way we came. So let's see what we can do here. There we go. And we got it. Now, I wonder if we can fit, like past the tanker or are we gonna have to try to go up and over the tanker let's let's see the exhaust stacks are kind of high they may hit it if they do we'll have to back up and find another way out but come on can we fit can we fit can we fit oh it's gonna be close yo imagine i hit it and it falls on me i think we're good Trying to watch out for that stand. And we made it. Let's go. We did it, guys. This truck is such a... Oh! Whoa. So, I forgot to tell you guys, this is a mountain biking trail, believe it or not. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Wait, what are you doing? Whoa! Extreme! He went up and over that thing. I would have just went under it. But that's pretty impressive. Thank God I did not hit him. That would have been terrible. Okay, that's enough playing around, guys. Let's get this thing back to the shop. Now, I was going to... I don't know what I should do here. I, I don't want to be, like, over height. So I was going to unload this onto the trailer. But this thing doesn't have any, any tires on it. So it's going to scratch up our new trailer. So I don't know what I should do here, guys. I think I'm just going to risk it and go over height and just hope we don't get pulled over. I don't know. Let's see how high it is first. So we're going to get this onto the trailer. Nice and easy. Low boy would have been better in this case. But like I said, I just really wanted to use this Trail King. It looks amazing. So it is kind of high. I'm not going to lie, but... I think we can get away with it. We're not going that far, so we should be okay. 
The other option is to put both of them on the Trail King trailer. I think they would fit, but like I said, I really don't want to scratch that up. So we're going to just take the risk and go this way. So let's fire up the truck and get out of here. I really like that. Those green lights, though. That's so cool. Beautiful truck. Beautiful trailer. I'm really liking this setup. Shout outs to Flare for this one. This one is by Flare. Amazing truck and trailer. We made it back to Sandy Shores, and I was thinking, should I do the repairs here at Ace Towing, or should I do the repairs at my truck dealership? And I'm thinking we should do it at the truck dealership because we can handle light stuff here at the shop, but this is going to be a full-on rebuild of a semi-truck. So I think what I'm going to do is actually just drive it over with the off-road wrecker and get it over to the dealership. Now the real question is, will this truck be done in time to deliver this oversized load? It's not looking too good guys, but we have two days and I believe that we can get this done. So let's take this to the dealership, which is right down the road, conveniently located on Nowhere Road, just off of Smoke Tree Road. <laughs> but yeah, let's take this inside and see what we can do with it. And we are inside of the dealership. We haven't been here in a little while since we delivered the Mack trucks here. But as you guys can see, we have a lot of trucks being worked on right now. See some Peterbilt, some Max, a Kenworth. And the good thing about this dealership, we have a lot of parts in stock, guys. So hopefully I don't have to go on like a wild treasure hunt to find everything that we need. So that should make things easier. So this side of the dealership is for repairs and the other side of the dealership is for new sales. I'll show you guys that too. But for now, let's get this thing unloaded in this last slot here. I went ahead and called in all hands on deck. I got five of my best mechanics and we're putting them all on this truck because we need this thing done in less than two days. So unfortunately, all the other repairs are gonna have to wait two days <laughs> in the meantime, but they'll be okay. We'll just tell them we have uh, parts delays or something. I don't know, maybe we'll blame it on COVID. But anyway, um, this is the dealership where we actually sell, or this is the showroom, I should say. This is where we make our sales. And it looks like we have two customers in here. So hopefully they will purchase some trucks, which is awesome. So in the meantime, I'm gonna let these guys look over the truck and let me know what I need. Hopefully we have some stuff in stock, but this is like a truck that's like like what 40 years old or something at this point so we're probably gonna have to work and find some of the stuff we'll see i'll let them work on it and see what they tell me in the meantime i'm gonna get back to the shop because i do have some more work to do and we can take the road but let's just go off road i really have fun with this truck whoa oh man this thing is so amazing i'm trying not to destroy anything but so much fun with this thing we are now responding to a chp request which is allowing us to use our red and blue lights as well as our siren and that is because traffic is backed up in the southbound lanes and it looks like it's backing up so far that now the northbound lanes are being affected so chp called they said there's a box truck that needs to be towed apparently it broke down so Let's try to clear the road as soon as possible because as you guys can see, there's a lot of traffic here. Let's try to make our way to the front without hitting anybody. We was able to squeeze our way in and there is a bit of space here, but everybody's just kind of taking it easy and trying not to hit anything but come on there's plenty of space you can go come on now looks like we have the driver up here to help out with traffic i'm gonna just hook up to it and pull it forward and then i'll talk to the driver and see what exactly he wants us to do with it so we got it and let's pull forward 
that should give traffic enough space so that they could go by a little bit faster. Hey man, I got the truck hooked up. Where you want to tow it to? You can take it to the auto exotic shop in Los Santos. Should it be a problem? You can hop in my truck and I'll be up there in a moment. So we now have the truck ready to go. Just making sure we got the light bar back here. Everything's good. Don't have to worry about air brakes. All right, so we are ready to go. Let's get this truck out of here and he's gonna be towing it or i'm gonna be towing it to the city for him he wants me to drop it off at the i think the exotics mechanic shop so not too far we'll drop this off i did also get a call from my mechanics guys and we now pretty much know what we're going to need to fix the semi truck the first thing that we're going to need is a new frame the frame got destroyed as it like tumbled down that mountain now I'm trying to think of a good spot where I can find one. Obviously, I don't want to spend a lot of money. Just dropped off the box truck, and now we are heading to the sheriff's station where we're going to check out a police auction that they're having. And based off what I saw online, there is a semi truck there. So I'm hoping it's in good condition and we should be able to use that for our build. And we made it to the station. Let's see what they have here. Ooh look at this guy so this is the impound lot and that truck appears to have some damage but i think it is exactly what we need so it looks like they have a what's that a gang burrito they got a charger Ooh, that's a nice ram over here why wait why are there so many chargers what's with dot chargers and criminals that's kind of crazy Got a new Tahoe, but what we are interested in is this, what is this, a Peterbilt 379, I think? Oh, they got a bullet hole in the radiator though, but that's an easy thing to swap out. But dang, look at the door panels. My goodness, this thing got shot up terribly. Somebody wanted the driver dead. I'm assuming since it's purple, maybe it's involved with the baller gang, but wow. That's crazy. Well, it appears to be good. The main thing that we need, guys, is the frame. That's this part down here. And that appears to be straight and perfect. But we'll also be able to use probably the tires, the wheels, the drive shaft, the fuel, the exhaust pipes. I think we can use almost everything off this truck, guys. Oh, and more importantly, we do need an engine for that for the truck. And I think this is going to be perfect, guys. So, yeah, we could pretty much take everything apart and put it into the cab over and that should be perfect let's talk to the deputy see how much money they want for this thing hey man how you doing um i'm interested in the purple semi truck you got over there how much y'all want for it that big truck is going to run you fifty thousand dollars 50k man that's a little bit more than i was hoping to spend i mean it is a good price though because these trucks go for like 200k brand new so 50k isn't horrible but it is what it is let's, let's buy it okay man I'll, I'll take it 50k you got it nice doing business with you perfect thank you so we are now 50k in the hole on this project but i'm excited because this is the perfect truck to help us build the cab over it's gonna be a shame to see it kind of go i mean maybe we can keep it alive somehow and use it in another project, but most of this truck is gonna go to saving the cab over. And it all starts with us lifting it up. So first thing we gotta do is back up to it. And it looks like we got it. We're gonna lift it on up. Now this is a heavy truck. We only got a medium duty wrecker, but since it's not pulling a trailer or anything like that, the medium duty can handle this thing. So now we're gonna run this up to Sandy Shores, take it to the truck dealership, and then my guys can start working on getting this thing broken down and building up the cap over. Let's watch out for this train. That's a very short train. Whoa, that guy almost got killed. He stopped a little short there. Made it back to the dealership before sunset, so that is great. We're gonna get this thing into the shop and then my mechanics can start working on it. Now, 
They're supposed to be going home for the day, but I'm going to offer them some money and see if they are willing to work throughout the night to get this thing done. Hopefully they'll be down to pull a 24 hour shift and help me get this truck done in time so we can do the oversized load. It is now Friday and I have some bad news guys. My mechanics just called me and they said they got everything installed but they realized the transmission is shot. So they were able to order another transmission for me, but the problem is I have to go pick it up. And the other problem is I'm kind of busy right now with the height pole truck. So what I'm doing is marking out our route to make sure that we're not gonna hit anything tomorrow with the oversized load. So what I have to do is use the height pole truck, drive the route and just make sure that none of the overpasses are too low. So we're gonna do that quickly by checking this uh, train tracks over here. So we're gonna do that quickly by checking this overpass right here, which are train tracks. And this is gonna be tight guys, but we don't seem to be hitting. So I think we're gonna be okay. We also have, no, that's it. I think that's gonna be the main thing we have to worry about tomorrow with the oversized load and looks like we're going to be clear so that's good so the next problem we have to deal with is the transmission and my mechanic had to order one and unfortunately it did cost a lot of money and it's coming in via air freight is actually being delivered to the grapeseed airport and because of that it costs a lot of money so that's why we had to pick up the forklift and the trailer so that we can head over to the airport pick up the load and then drop it off at the dealership now i'm hoping there's no more surprises as long as we can finish this truck by tomorrow we should be able to use it on the oversized load so i'm just hoping that everything works out so apparently this plane been waiting a long time for me so i need to hurry up and get to the airport and we are now here at mckenzie's field so let's head inside but wait a minute is that a military plane what the heck this can't be the transmission is it about time you got here park over there yes sir okay guys so apparently this is our delivery that we're picking up but i can't believe it came on a military aircraft i think it said marines like what in the world how much is this gonna cost don't get me wrong, I'm happy they were able to get it in time, but this is just crazy. Like, we got a whole aircraft that we're taking this thing out of. Hey man, um, do I pay you and how much is this thing gonna cost? $40,000 plus $1,000 every minute our engines are running. $40,000 plus a thousand a minute? This isn't, okay, I'm not even gonna waste any more time. I cannot believe this. Let me just get it, get it out of here so they can stop charging me money. A thousand dollars a minute, that is insane. Got it onto the forklift and let's get it onto the trailer as fast as possible so we don't waste any more money. This is crazy. All right, let's get this back onto the trailer. All right, sir, I got it loaded up. I don't think I took long, right? How much is it gonna cost me now? $47,000. An extra $7,000, why so much? It only took me like two minutes. $42,000 plus 5,000 for gratuity. You added on gratuity? Are you kidding me? Uh, whatever. Thank you for your service, man. You guys have a great day. I'm gonna get out of here before I get chopped up by this blade. Whoa, they are now applying takeoff thrust. Thanks for supporting the United States Marines. No problem. Whoa. They nearly ran out of space there. I think they even hit something. Did you guys see that? Wow, that was crazy. That was crazy. And for the record, I was not scared. But anyway, let's get to the dealership so we could get this thing dropped off and hope that it works because we just spent what forty seven thousand dollars on this thing and in total we sent what about a hundred k or so so yeah hopefully this is all worth it today is saturday it's the big day and i'm super excited because we're going to be taking a look at the cab over for the first time all of my mechanics have been working very hard the last two days and you know this was an expensive job so i'm very thankful for you guys but anyway stephanie move that truck move that truck move that truck 
They thought it would be cool if they'll like hide it with this and kind of surprise me with it. All right, here we go. Whoa, guys, this thing looks amazing. <laughs> Look at the license plate, old school. So it ended up being a Peter Bill. Oh my goodness. This is an old, what is this, a 352 Peterbilt. This thing looks amazing, guys. Wow, this definitely looks like it can haul a heavy load now. Look at the tires, the wheels. Y'all went in with the lights, like lights every, oh, lights all the way back here too. Lights are just everywhere. This thing probably looks amazing at night. And if you guys look at the rear end, we were able to use the same end from the Peterbilt, the uh, 379. So we were able to re be resourceful and reuse some parts, but this looks great, guys. Let's fire it up for the first time. It looks like they also added a, a little sleeper cap to it too, which is pretty nice. They didn't have that before. Look at the exhaust, the air filters, the antennas, everything looks great. Oh my, it is so nice to see this truck on the road after all those years, wow. Oh, look at the brake lights too, this is amazing. Okay guys, so we have about an hour or so until we have to deliver that load. And I kind of did wait to the last minute because I really wanted to see if this truck can haul it. I'm hoping it could. It seems to be driving okay, so that's a good sign, but man, this looks great, guys. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck's going on at the shop? So I had to deal with a little bit of a fire in the shop yet again. This literally happened last week, too, but this time it ended up being Jerry. He was smoking near the gas pumps, which is not a smart thing to do should fire him for it honestly but i'm more excited about this truck and this oversized load so i'll deal with that later hey guys i just realized i forgot to do the most important thing and that was to put the oversized load banner and the flags on the front of the truck and i just wanted to show you guys what it looks like since i completely forgot to do that but there it is and let's jump back to the video trailer is connected let's do a tug test uh-oh it's a little heavy guys maybe because we're on the sand okay we're moving now that was not what i wanted to see but i think it's just because we were on some sand here and it wasn't getting traction now worst case scenario if this truck does like struggle or anything like that what i can do is use one of the other oh my god I was looking at the trucks back there and nearly went into a rock. But yeah, um, worst case scenario, if I have to, I can use one of the Kenworths to haul the load. I just really want to do it with this old Peterbilt. But I am off to a terrible start, though. I thought these things were supposed to have good turning radiuses. But you know what? We did kind of go overboard and stretch out the frames. So that's probably why. Did they really just drive under the load? Wow, people are crazy but anyway let's go drop this thing off guys i am so excited truck sounds great it looks great let me know what you guys think about it down below as i attempt to not bottom out on this railroad crossing we should be good though because the trailer itself sits pretty high now let's see if we can do a better job with this turn. I'm going to swing it wide. Oh my god, this thing just doesn't want to turn. <laughs> I got a turn from like five minutes ago in order to make that. Man. Oh, go cart. Sorry. I know I'm on the wrong side of the road. I am so sorry about that. Wait, did I take out? Oh! I took out the stop sign. Uh-oh. All right, it's okay. I'll, I'll put it back up when I come back. That shouldn't be a problem. There's a line on the ground anyway that says stop, so they should be okay. But man, this truck is great. Turning radius, not so great. But again, that's because we kind of stretched it out so much. And now that I think about it with this turning radius issue, the place that we're delivering to, we have to make a lot of tight turns. We did it before but it's probably gonna be more difficult with this truck since it doesn't want to turn. I really hope we're able to do this. So I was so excited to drive the truck that I didn't even realize I went the wrong way. 
So we got to make a turn and get onto the highway. But maybe this is actually better because we would have had to cross two highways like north and southbound traffic if I went the right way. Now we only really have to worry about making a left turn, which is just crossing one. And we don't have any escorts with us to help us out with traffic. So it is going to be a challenge, but we should be able to get it done. So I spoke too soon and I just realized something, guys. Uh oh, I did not check this with the height pole truck. Are we going to fit? Let's take this nice and easy. It looks like we are. Okay, we're good. We have a couple of feet to spare. Yeah, I went the wrong way. <laughs> and I don't know if I can make this left turn now because this is going to be very, very sharp. There's a very good chance that this turn is going to be impossible for me to make. So I think we're going to have to go back into Sandy Shores and spin around over there. There's no way I'm making this turn, guys. I'm not even going to try. Let's just make the right instead. So we literally... What are you doing? Come on, man. You've never seen a truck make a wide turn before in your life? Come on. Get out of here. Go, go, go. Go! What are you waiting for now? I don't know what's this guy's problem. I'm just going to try to get around him. But I got to see where I can do a U-turn at. We're literally back at our mechanic shop, <laughs> which is ridiculous, our tow shop. But I think I can make a left turn here. I'm going to go on the ground a little bit, but that's okay if we run over this sand. Yeah, actually... I feel like I could pull a whole U-turn right here. Hold up. I got an idea. I was going to go around that way, but we could just pull a turn right here, guys. Look at that. Perfect. So now we are going the correct way. All I had to do was come out the shop, make a right, go straight, and I would have been pretty much done with this delivery. And I completely messed that up by taking the wrong route. But luckily, we were able to correct the situation before something bad happened now we're gonna be delivering this all the way to the top of those hills up there where the windmills are and I hope this truck has what it takes to get up there I had to slow down just to make sure we fit under this underpass but as we can see we are perfectly fine we checked it with the height pole yesterday but I just wanted to make sure now we're going to be making a very hard right turn and making our way up the hill. Please, nobody pass me. I'm turning to the right. Actually, hold up. I never use my turn signal, so I guess it's partially my fault. Turn signal is now on. I'm turning. All right. We're looking good so far. Now... Can we make it up the hill with this thing? It's really low, and honestly, we shouldn't have made it so low with this bumper and everything, but hopefully we make it up here without tearing anything off this truck. So far, it's handling it without any issues, but it's starting to get steeper, so I don't want to get too confident here. I'm going to have to be very careful on these turns because what we realize is that this truck doesn't like to turn okay turn number one is good but here we go this is going to be a real test i have to go wide so that the rear doesn't hit anything and we're looking good looking good okay i think we got this guys now this right turn is going to be a little bit harder but we're gonna just do the same exact thing go all the way to the outside and then turn hard here we go I can even ride this section a little bit just to make sure we have enough space I don't I have to make sure the back wheels do not fall uh oh oh no oh no that's what I was worried about those back wheels uh oh I'm bottomed out, guys. Wait, we're good. We're able to back up. I'm worried about the back wheels, though. Oh, 
goodness. The whole trailer is in the air right now. That did not work. I'm gonna continue though. If it could catch the other side, we may be okay. Come on, nice and easy. Oh, imagine if this thing flips over, guys. I'm gonna be fired. Yo, we're good. Perfect. That was close. Ooh. See, guys, that's why I said you cannot put your guard down. You really have to be prepared. We're going to continue making our way all the way up to the top of the mountain. Now that we made it up here, I'm feeling a little bit more confident with this truck. So I think I should be able to do the other two loads without an issue. Whoa, I didn't set this up right at all. But I think we're okay. I got saved there. Luckily, nothing was there. Now we have a couple more turns. A couple more hills. Wait, 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 wait. Your boy is not paying attention. I just went down a dead end road. I'm praying I could back this thing up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, thank you. That's great. Oh, good thing I realized. I would have got myself stuck in a bad place. Okay, we need to focus, focus, focus. Let's not mess up this turn. We're almost to the top. Watch out for the poles. Man, this windmill looks so close. Imagine if it just smacks us. But we're good. So we made it to the top. And these two needs to be repaired. So they now have the first two of the blades. And then the other two truckloads will bring in the third one for that one. Plus one or the three for that. So that is great. Let's get this thing unloaded. And then we will get out of here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what I should do next. But more importantly, click right here to watch me go on a crazy adventure to search for an abandoned tow truck and then repair that tow truck into the coolest truck that you have ever seen. Click here to watch and I'll see you guys in the video.